Dude, Life in Newquay with Two Surfers and a Van is brought to you by the epic and radical 10 Uber Surf Shop. Naughty bro! Morning guys! Morning. Hope you're starting out your mind. Welcome back to Two Surfers in a Van. Oh, we're there. It's called Life in New Key with Two Surfers in a Van now. Yeah. Um, so guys, just a quick one before we get into today's vlog. So a bit of a changeover. It is a little bit different. This vlog today is a little bit different to our normal format, um, which is going to be totally cool because every now and again, we're going to drop a vlog like this, which is more about things to do in New Key, things that's happening. You get to see different parts in New Key. Today is going to be full of food, full of adventure. We're going to take our pedal bikes <laughs> with Tinto Travels and we're going to head into um, um, into UK itself. I'm going to go to Town Beach. You guys get to come along, check it out. I'm going to check out the food, the drinks, the different places you can visit, the surf school, the beach, and they're probably going to go for a surf as well and tell you a little bit about the beach, best places to surf, and all the different activities that's going on down there. Yeah. So, guys, stay tuned. Let's do this. Let's get into it. And uh, yeah, let's do it. You. down at Town Beach in Newquay in Cornwall. If you've never been here before, if you've never been to Newquay, this is one of the best beaches in Newquay that a lot of the tourists and people who visit the area come to and check out. Today we're going to check out some of the things that you can do on this beach and uh, show you a little bit more about it and stuff like that. So if you've never been here before, this one's for you. If you have been, enjoy it. You'll recognise a bit of this nostalgia. Uh, wasted youth, wasted love. coconut chai which is a place down the beach and everyone recommends it so I want to go and check it out guys and bring you along you're still 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 with me all the time right guys here we are down at coconut chai we opened in May last year so we've just reopened on the 1st of April for our second season nice and first season was good yeah brilliant we've been really well received by tourists amazing. and local people so that was really brilliant that's amazing guys and what, what kind of things do you do here what's your unique vibe here so I wanted to make it feel like you're on holiday in the Caribbean or somewhere exotic yeah um, and feel like that rather than you're in Cornwall even if it is a miserable dreary day <laughs> both for if that's your holiday or if you're local and you just walk up the road and you're coming down for like half an hour on your dinner yeah. break I want to just feel like you're on holiday so everything as you can see is painted all bright colours. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, we play reggae music all day. We sell um, our main kind of products we sell. We sell fresh coconuts. Right. I'll show you one if you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they're, as they fall off the tree in Thailand, We've got a special machine. We put holes in them so you can drink the water. Nice. And then when you've finished it, bring it back. We'll chop the top off and you can eat the flesh inside. Nice. We also sell a non-alcoholic pina colada and that's served in the pineapple. Um, <laughs> so you can drink them out the pineapple. Yeah. And we do a fruit salad also served in a pineapple. Wow. So they're like our main products. We do coffees, teas, hot chocolates, other bits as well. Slices of watermelon. Um, but they are like our main products. So they're meant nice. to feel really fresh fun and really nicely presented and make you feel like you're on holiday. On this not so sunny day, but still feel pretty tropical with these vibes. Guys, this pineapple pina colada, which is non-alcoholic, is absolute fire. It tastes so good. And the presentation's pretty amazing as well. So yeah, if you come down to Newquay and you're in Town Beach, you need to check out this place and uh, get one of these bad boys. Ooh, it's good, man. <laughs> Now, 
Now traditionally when you come to a beach it's going to be fish and chips, however today Jill's flipped the script and she's going for a roasted pork roll with everything on it, so let's see what that's like. <laughs> you got it. That was so quick, thank you. <laughs> oh, it smells like a Sunday dinner. Yeah, does it? So I've just ordered pork roll with apple crackling pork and stuffing. Nice. And I've just seen it and I just thought I might have to try it. It reminds me of going to car boot sales when I was younger with my dad. Pork, oh, apple, pork. stuffing, oh. crackling. <laughs> Good. Yeah, no. How good was it? Fire! <laughs> Don't choke. <laughs> it's just soft and messy and succulent and juicy and just all round fire. And of course, a trip to Town Beach wouldn't be right if you didn't check out SSS Surf School and check out my boy Stu. You need to check that place out, it's absolutely fire. He's really, really good at what he does, guys. So if you come to Town Beach and you want to look for some surf school, you want to go for a bit of a surf, he's the man. Check him out now. Stands this side away. You ready? Yeah, go Three, for it. Two, okay. one, and. Whoa. <laughs> what is on? Uh, okay, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's Stuart. Cool, and tell us what your business is called? Uh, Triple S Surf School. Uh, you can find us on Instagram, uh, Facebook, or you can go online as well. You can find us anywhere pretty much, or visit Newquay, or visit Cornwall as well. We're all over the place. Uh, Hendra Holiday Park and the Atlantic Reach. Nice, nice. And if they come down to Town Beach, obviously they're coming down to here, they can find you here. Yeah. Um, tell us about your surf school, dude. Uh, pretty much so. We're located in the heart of Newquay on uh, Town Beach, uh, literally feet from the surf which is pretty good a uh, nice easy walk uh, we do everything from beginner surf improvers advanced uh, we do sup board lessons and tours and the latest is the big super sups coming in uh, you can come down uh, have fun with us we got the top deck which is out there for the chill out area as well that's just a good vibe all around really it's amazing amazing and um, tell me about like um, what kind of um, surf sessions that you, people can book uh, you could come down and book like beginner surf sessions, you could do improvers, uh, you could do private one-to-ones, private families, we've got the kids club which runs from six years old and up, uh, we keep that minimal, so it's a nice little easy 90 minute session or you can do a two hour beginner, uh, two hour improver, uh, two hour private session, same with our sub tours, um, those two hours you could do one-to-one, -one, private groups, families, all that kind of stuff, so yeah, pretty cool. Nice. Uh, you got the new women's surf club or something? We do. We have the new women's surf club as well, uh, which is running with us and obviously our main sponsor, O'Neill. Uh, so yeah, if uh, the girls are looking just to join a full-on girls club, we have Emily running that at the minute. So come on down and join us on that as well. Sick. So, yeah. Sick. Tell us about the kind of boards that people can use and ride. Uh, kind of boards we got. Uh, we got the soft tech surfboards over there. Uh, pretty good. So we got like from the beginner surfboards up to the improver surfboards and the different ranges that they do. We've also got MF boards from expanding surfboards. And then on the inside of the surf school, we got the fun toys uh, for obviously people that want to really improve. Uh, we've got the Firewire surfboards, uh, Ben Skinner surfboards, CJ Nelson, and Thunderbolt Technologies as well. That's so, yeah. fire, that's absolutely fire. Some questions about surf. So tell us a little bit about um, Town Beach. When's the best time to come surf Town Beach? Ooh, Town Beach, kind of like, Four hours after high tide, if you're on the big ones, uh, we usually jump in and then on the push, I usually give about an hour on the push and then it kind of settles down a little bit. Uh, today it's blowing a little bit northerly, so it's a little bit messy, uh, the conditions out there today. But like I said, it's one of the most sheltered beaches that we have as well uh, when the winds are up. So it's always got pretty good surf conditions uh, for beginners all the way up to uh, improvers. What would you say the best um, wind direction is to surf Tawan? Ooh, wind direction. I like it when it howls like really strong westerlies because you can get really tucked in uh, <laughs> on the headland there and uh, get some uh, some pretty good peaks to surf on there. So and then everyone else is blowing out as well. So everyone comes to us on the westerlies. So yeah, it, it gets does. pretty crowded. Eh? Yeah, yeah, it, it does, does get pretty crowded. Really. So and then obviously you get a nice cruisy southerly winds as well, and then we just get nice little peelers that come in uh, throughout the day. So. How safe is Town Beach to surf on it? It's pretty much, I would say, it's probably one of the most safest beaches that we have, uh, especially with like the the area for the amount of eyes and cameras that we have running on here. So it's it's pretty much eyes on all all year round, even when the lifeguards are off, because we got obviously the Coast Guard and the RNLI inside the harbor as well. So for nice. an all around safe beach, this is the, this is the beach to be at. So, so yeah. Does it get really bad rips? 
Uh, no, we're pretty blessed here, uh, to be fair. Now and again, we can get them, but not very often. You don't really get the rips that the other beaches suffer from. So that is a bonus and a half for us as yeah, well. Yeah, because a lot of new surfers worry about rips and worry about rocks and they worry about all these things. Do we have that in Town Beach? Yeah, not really. We got we got some of the rocks over there to the left by the harbor, and then you got the island. I mean, if you hit the island, you should have seen that one coming anyway. So <laughs> other than that, we just like we just got pure sand the whole way out. There's nothing really to worry about other than other surfers in the water. It's just right. to come down here and have a good time, really. So guys, basically, when you when you're surfing something like this um nice flat beach it's not too steep so there's no mad undertow on there there's no gnarly mega rips out there nah. just common sense really courtesy and just being you know just watch out for the surfers um what what advice would you give new surfers that's coming down at the beach and want to go off our surf and let's say they're not coming for a surf school they're just you know, they've been out a few lessons they want to go out where's the best place would you say for these guys to surf uh, obviously straight go on the obviously the checkered flags for them um if you're seeking advice even if you're not booked on a lesson I just come down and ask us at the surf school we'll give you some some tips or the rnli or just jump in and ask any other surfers as well i mean you're not going to bite your head off I'd rather you ask a question and stay safe than exactly than guys. go in there and then something else happens to you yeah, yeah that's exactly it's when you come down the beach we'll show you in a minute the flag so you can see the best places to come down if you're just a bather we'll show you the best place to bathe if you come to surf we'll show you the best place to surf and also bodyboard and paddleboard and things like that and uh, yeah we'll show you a bit around town beach and then we're going to go hit the surf and uh, catch a few waves so oh. we'll do that to epic studio nice one yeah, worries, mate. boom Have a cheers good one. see you in a bit Later. Um, so the black and white flags on any beach are for surfing and stand up paddle boarding. They're basically the surf sports, so any sport with a big vessel like a kayak, stand up paddle board, or surf sport. Uh, red and yellows are for swimming and bodyboarding. Brilliant, okay. What is there any dangers on this beach that people visiting the area need to be careful for? Um, Town Beach is pretty safe, generally. That We don't get any strong rips or anything here, generally. Um, obviously we've got the cliff, so we do ask people to stay away from those, because obviously there's always risk of cliff fall and climbing on the rocks and stuff, risks of people falling. Um, but Talon's a pretty safe beach, so it's a good one to come visit if uh, you're not too familiar with water. Brilliant, excellent. Um, is there any areas that they need to stay clear from? Yeah, so you need to stay away from the harbour, boats coming in and out and stuff. Um, and yeah, obviously if you're just swimming, stay away from the surface. You don't want to get a surfboard to the back of your head or anything. Brilliant, excellent. Uh, if people are coming to use paddle boards down here and stuff like that, is there things that people with paddle boarders should be careful of? Um, yeah, people do come to paddleboard down here. Uh, some people do actually stand up paddleboard when they're surf, but if you're new to paddleboarding and stuff, it's good to take them out when it's a nice flat day. Um, also today there's onshore wind, so the wind's blowing towards the beach, which makes it safer for paddleboarders because you get blown into shore. If there's an offshore wind, you have to be more careful because you can't act like a big flag and then you can get pushed further out to sea. Ice like is. What what's inside the tipping? I mean it looks chocolatey, I know that. Yeah, it's it's chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Oh, it looks like biscuits. Yeah. Yeah. Biscuit and raisins. Oh, it's got raisins in, controversial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a raisins fan. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Else for you? Uh, that's all for now, until I come back next week. Always good to have promote like all the local businesses as well. Yeah, it's great. Isn't it? Yeah. Let me go, let me go far away. Let me go, let me go. And when I'm in these bags, let me go far away. I feel better on the weekend. Right, guys, we got a traditional Cornish treat, Cornish Tiffin. Got to check it out. This is like chocolate and stuff and I don't know it's got currants in currants in it never had it before mmm a nice. fire mmm mmm oh that doesn't work what's that like lovely good isn't it it's really really tasty like the so guys after all that if you want to get a bit of a dessert you need to come and check this place out it's absolutely fire
Right guys, we've got our surfboards, we're going to go hit it. Today we're riding the foamies because you know it's the bay. And if you're surfing the bay, you want to be riding a softboard because it's so busy, you don't want to get injured and you don't want to injure someone else. So softboards it is. It's actually fun. Conditions today, not ideal. It is on shore, it's mostly white water. We don't really have a green wave to surf today. It's just closing down into white water. So you're just going to see us riding a lot of white water, really. Uh, if a green wave comes through, we'll have a go with that. Out. Not as back, how back, but enough out to be able to catch him the inside. Okay. It's windy, it's on shore, it's choppy as hell. However, I clearly wasn't far enough out back because this set caught me off guard. I still got a mini ride. We had an absolute blast, but I'm not going to bore you guys with me shredding loads of little bits of white water and totally cooking out and bailing just like this. But instead, let's get into something else a bit more interesting. Now, it wouldn't be right to talk about Town Beach without talking about the iconic Town Island House. This beautiful property is set with on top of a 70 foot cliff, which is an island and is accessible by its own suspension bridge. It's absolutely stunning and I can imagine that many local and many a tourist and holidaymaker have dreamt about visiting or owning it and just seeing what it was like inside. Well now, you can, as we're going to step inside of the island house, take you in there with some photos of it and let you see exactly what this beauty is like. Not only does it have stunning views of the Atlantic coast, but inside it truly is a beauty. Here you can see this beautiful kitchen. I can definitely see myself having breakfast here. 180 degree panoramic views. The best way to plan the day is looking out at the sea with something to eat and drink. Even sitting in these chairs, relaxing by the window, absolutely amazing. Local artworks, such as King Neptune here, looking out at the Atlantic, adorns the walls, along with beautiful bedrooms. Each bedroom is themed from romantic to nautical. Even the main master bedroom could be found behind a hidden staircase. The en suites are of the highest level. When you think of what you want a bathroom to look like, this is definitely it. This is absolutely stunning. I can definitely see myself sitting in one of these rocking chairs in the summer watching the waves with a cold drink or even by this fireside on a cold Cornish winter night. Whichever way you want to do it guys, if you get a chance, check out the beauty of the island house and if you're new key, it's definitely something you want to think about staying at or visiting, then definitely do that. I'll put a link in the description and also on the screen. Of course, there's many ways to enjoy New Key, its beautiful beaches, restaurants, cafes and shops, and of course, its luxury accommodation. And if you don't want to go luxury, well, who says van life's not luxury, but live your life your way, guys, and just be stoked on it. Whichever way you're going to visit New Key, hopefully you'll come back soon, enjoy it. If you're already living here, or if you're coming to visit, let me know down in the comments, guys. But for us, two surfers in a van, life in New Key, we hope you've enjoyed this little bit different of a vlog. Not all our vlogs are going to be like this, but we'll be dropping a few more that are just like this one. Leave a comment down below, guys. Remember, please do like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay salty, stay epic.